you now. Sweet. All right. All right. Connection, All right. Connection, no, hey, connection. Joe. First of all, thank you so much for your patience, man. Uh, you no are you, you are you are a living legend, and for a lot of us musicians, promoters, radio guys, just people in the industry, like we all understand the grind and how much you really got to love it to really stick through it because it's one of those you know it's one of those music is like a continue like it's a continuous reward, but you also have to fight for it too, you know, because it's like you do, you know, you're, and you're so, you're so right, man, you're so right, you got. It's a dedication. It's a dedication. So, you know what? So anytime I get the opportunity to talk to somebody like you, who's been through it all in music, who's had all these experiences, the ups and downs, the, the small crowds, the massive crowds, it's always an honor, man, because um, I, get to, I get to learn how, how the greats accomplished their dreams and all the struggles they went through and, and you know, uh, just everything they've had to you know, overcome. So... So, Joe Lynn Turner, thank you so much for just having that's time very, for me on the Metal Mixtape. That's very, that's very wise of you because that's exactly how, how I learned as well. You know, that's the only way to learn. is Because uh, if, uh, if you're the smartest guy in the room, you're in the wrong room. Yeah. <laughs> you need somebody, you, keep, <laughs> you know, got to keep yeah. asking people like who, are, who have done it, you know, and say, well, how did you do it? And what did you, you know, and so on and so forth. That's, that's how you do it, man. So I, you're smart. No, uh, thank you, so, dude, Joe. You're amazing. Just, just even saying that, you know. And you know what? Um, I've I saw a couple, a lot of your interviews online, and we're definitely we're gonna talk Belly the Beast, the new album. But, but I, I which is absolutely awesome. All, all your music's freaking great. I was, I was listening all last night. I was listening to like even endlessly like uh, the, uh, your yeah. old mom Steve stuff and everything and. Yeah. You know what I love about your voice, man, is that like you're able to transition to sing like whatever style you want stylistically. Yeah. And and, and, and I feel like uh, I feel it's because like maybe like you're you're really like free roaming as far as like your head voice, like you allow yourself to express yourself, you know. So so, um, you know, when, when you started singing and all that, were you always just like were you just a lover of like vocals or were you just everything. Uh, just everything? I, I mean, I, I'm originally a guitar player, and I started singing by accident. <laughs> the singer in my local band in high school got sick, and I'm playing, you know, guitar and all. So he gets sick. I think he drank too much and whatever. So somebody had to take take over the rest of the set. So I just walked up to the mic and started singing because I knew the lyrics and all. Oh, and that's everybody, awesome. all, all these people came up front, and I was like, whoa, you know. And that's when I learned that I had actually – a voice but i listen to all kinds of music from sinatra to like uh, sepultura you know and i i, I adapt all adapt all style because i don't my father always told me if you listen to everything your ear is going to pick it up and you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do you'll have complete freedom so that's why i did belly of the beast because i always want to do a little bit harder edge music you know, I'm known for my oh, yeah. endless leads and speed of dreams and stuff. But this one, it, a lot of people were like, is that really him? <laughs> you know, because I changed, I changed the voice a little bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I no. No, and, and um, I absolutely love that, um, especially yeah. in, in Belly of the Beast. Um, and especially after all, you know, um, all these years, you're able to drive these power. As a vocalist myself. I'm learning yeah. how to just sing like a week, a week long without hurting my voice, two weeks long and all this. Like, did you ever have a point in your singing career where like you might have hurt your voice or did something where like you learned a huge lesson that like, all right, Joe, yeah. like I got to take this seriously if I'm going to tour. Did you have a point in your career like that? Yeah. Well, you know, when, when I started singing, it was all just trial and error. Right. But my father, rest his soul, he was very smart. And he said, look, Joe, if you're going to build a house, you better get a hammer which meant get some mm. tools. So I went looking around for a voice teacher uh, out of New York City. And uh, I had about four voice teachers before I found the right guy that connected with me. And I even sent Bon Jovi to the same guy. His name was Martin Lawrence. His, his son does it now. Martin's awesome. passed, but Don, Don Lawrence does it now. And it's a technique for the pyramid. It, it, you have to act like you have to feel like a pyramid, like your voice goes 
the top is the, the point of the pyramid and the base is wider, okay? Okay. So what happens is, is you have to take all the air out of your lungs and put it in your diaphragm. That's where your power is coming from is your diaphragm. Um, you don't sing with the air from your lungs because you, you, the body will actually exasperate the vocal cords quicker. You'll get tired. Okay. You'll, you'll get very tired. You know, you sing in a while and uh, all of a sudden you're just, you just don't have the notes. Mm -hmm. You don't even have a voice. And yeah, I've been in trouble a few times like that until I used Marty's technique. And all these years I've been, once you get the technique, it's like riding a bike. Okay. You always remember it. Sometimes you just got to <laughs> brush up a little before you go on stage, but that's about it. And the technique really works. Transition between chest voice and head voice. You know, you can make oh, those yeah. transitions uh, and, and, and it works for me because I'm, I'm now 71 years old and I'm, Dude. I'm still singing pretty damn good. So Dude, you're about, you know, thank God. Joe, you're a fucking badass. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> you're fucking ripping it, man. And I love you yeah. explaining all this because you know what? Not only are our, our, our listeners in Oregon um, on the metal mix saber kind of listen to this, but. But this is a this is like a lot of great knowledge for a lot of vocalists out there that that yeah. want to inspire to push themselves, you know, and and inspire to uh uh you know uh, reach their dreams wh whichever avenue it may be. Which leads into Absolutely. my next which leads into my next question, Joe. Mm -hmm. After seeing your career, after accomplishing all these massive accomplishments you've done, like if, if you could like remember the time where you first started is this everything you expected it to be like 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 playing the shows wow. the rock star like like is that is it everything you like when you were a little kid and you dreamed for it and then and then you worked your ass off and and fucking grinded and got a shot and fucking like like did you like like now seeing it you know everything you've done like is it everything you thought it would be i, I know what you mean and yeah. it's funny you, you ask that because on this album, there's a song called Living the Dream. And Living the Dream is directly in relation to, you know, we, we ran through the fires, we ran down every road, we, we fulfilled our desires, you know, we yes. satisfied our souls, yeah. we fought like hell, <laughs> we did this, we did that. And then I asked the question, Living the Dream, is it everything we wanted? Is it everything we need? You know? Uh -huh. And then in the okay. middle section, I and I say, but what is life if not to dare, you know, to, to live the dream? Yeah. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. So, yes, it's worth it. But, man, I'll tell you, you got to have you got to toughen up. You got to really be tough because they'll eat you alive out there. And, uh, you know, it's not all that it's it's, it's supposed to be. It's just uh, I wrote a song years ago called Fame and Fortune. That it brings fame and fortune brings you pain and sacrifice, man. That's what it does. You know, fame is a trap. You can't go anywhere. You know, people are always that, that, that. It's nice that people love you, but sometimes you just want to be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like nobody. Put the hood up and just walk around. You know. So, yeah. Look, living the dream is always worth it. Get your dreams. Reach for the stars. Get there. But remember along the way where your feet are planted man my father was right about that keep your head in the clouds your feet on the ground because you're going to need that someday when you're floating in the air uh, in front of 30 40,000 people you know all of a sudden you got to be firmly rooted so keep your ego in check keep your spirit in check you know it's not easy no not no, easy that, that sounds so great and and your father is such a wise man and i love and he i really love those, and i love those lessons because uh he was teaching you and and it's and it's really true was. you know you you really got to build like i love the how you were saying you gotta you know it's like you got to build your voice with a hammer you know build a foundation i've really right i really right. appreciated that because because you know i always feel like what separates like the people who are good from great is that like that sacrifice where you push that extra step because I feel like like a lot of people they play music and there's this ledge they reach and it's either it's like and the ledge is sacrifice right it's like is my music yep. really is my music really worth it to take time out of my work out of my love life out of my family out of whatever I do you know and but you know and but the thing is you know I love reading like things of philosophers and all these people they always say like me, me, the biggest risk too. takers you know the risk takers me, no, and, yeah no, and risk, no reward 
And I'm sure in your career, you've taken a lot of risks. If the whole thing is one big risk. <laughs> There's no guarantee. Baby, rock and roll ain't no guarantees. You know? <laughs> you're, 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 sw you're swinging on a, uh, with one hand on a rope, you know, <laughs> over the edge all the time. And, and let me tell you something. It, look, it's always worth it to go for your dreams. You should go for your dreams. But you've got to be ready to dedicate, to be disciplined about that. You can't be fooling around. You know, that's the difference between good and great, like you were saying. Somebody who's going to go, you know, it's like, it's like karate through the board. you got to go past the board, not to the board. You'll break your hand. When your focal point is past the board, you can break the board. And, and it's a principle. It's the principle of it. It's the same in life. You've got to go through the board. You've got to be able to be mentally, spiritually, and physically ready to do this. So, yeah, go for it. But you better be prepared because it's – get a helmet, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a hell of a ride. So, uh, Joe, uh, lead, uh, leading up to your, uh, all your stylistic changes, leading up to uh, Belly of the Beast, um, with all the different genres of music, different generations, the innovation and technology, vocals, what people do on stage and all that, like you've you've been writing lyrics and catalogs forever. Where after all these years do you pull your influence from? Especially after been through everything you've been through and leading up to Belly of the Beast. Where 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 did your motivation come for this album after all the everything you've been through in your career? I think I think most of my most of most, if not all of my stuff comes from life. Just plain life. All you got to do is look around you every day and there's something that you can, you can focus on and write about. Don't Be the Beast, for example, is a dark album and it's very deep because I'm going into an artistic realm where art is a, is a, is a mirror of reality. Okay. Art, uh, when you, when you become artistic like that, what you do is like a painter. He doesn't, you know, if he's painting flowers, that's fine, but really, when he comes up with something deep that you just look at and go, holy, jeez, what the hell is, this is amazing. Like the cover of this album, I don't know if you've seen it, but that's a yeah. friend of mine who, who painted that. Oh, it's and awesome. I knew that, I, it's awesome, and I knew that, that, no, that I got the, cover of, the cover of this album a year and a half before I finished the record, because I said, that is the ex exponential look of Belly of the Beast. Art should disturb you. It should... It should shock you in a way because you may love it or hate it, but you'll never forget it. Okay, yeah. so that's that's where you that's where you get your lyrics, man. You look around, you see what's happening in the world today. We are in the beast system. We're in the belly of it. We're, they're trying to take control of our lives, our freedoms, uh, our money, our everything. We're we're very very close to humanity to losing all that by the powers that be, and we're forgetting, man. Especially in rock, we were the rebels. We're the outlaws. We're the ones that, that, that were supposed to be free and talking about this stuff. And, I, and nobody was talking about it. So I said, I've got to talk about it. Here's your subject matter. Tell them what's going on out there because they're in it. Nobody wants to say anything. They're afraid of defending people. Maybe they're in fear. Screw fear. Fear is a poison. Rock and roll shouldn't be afraid. And I think we all got too comfortable watching Netflix or whatever the hell. You know, we forgot that rock and roll can, has saved the world in the past. It's such a great motivator that I wish more artists would jump on board and, and do rallies and things where we can get all our people together and unite. Because what's happening is we forgot that we're all the same people. They're trying to divide us, you understand? Mm -hmm. Color, nationality, culture. They're trying to make us hate each other so they divide and conquer us. But no, man, we're the same. No matter what color, creed, race, whatever culture you are, we're all, we all bleed red. We're yeah. The same. You know what? You know? No, absolutely, man. And, and the thing is, even now with like uh, the newer technology and like, okay, th this is the one example I always liked hearing is that like back in the day in the 80s, when you heard of a band, you actually had to go see them or buy yeah. a record to hear them or even know what they look like, right? So so going to a show, That's right. there, was, there was more interest and there was more of yeah. a hype. There was more of a hype of a yeah. flyer. Nowadays, before you even see a band, you can see their political stance. You can see what they had for coffee. 
You can see if they're like an abusive asshole. You can see, um, every, you, you can listen to their whole catalog and make up your mind before getting the live experience, which is the music, right? Yeah, it, it, it's so true. <laughs> you hit that right on the head, man. That is exactly right. There's, and then you'll buy the single. You know what I mean? Just the signal. <laughs> you won't buy the album. I remember, man, I used to have to roll my weed on the album. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's what I bought. And I read every single thing on this album. Who did what? Who produced it? Who played guitar? Uh, how many minutes everything was? Who the thank you was were about? People don't even have a clue about this stuff anymore. It just doesn't happen. And and then talk about live. Live is where all the action is. You know, live. If you can't do it live, you can't do it. That's it. Because anybody can go in with technology now and make an album on their computer. Doesn't make it good. It just makes the fact that you can do it. But is it good? Is it great? Is it going to fulfill your dream? Are you? Is it going to set you above the rest? You know what I mean? I have no, no problem with using computers, but I have a problem with people who, who so many people want to be rock stars and so many of them aren't. They just aren't. You know, it's like, you're good, man. You can play some guitar, but there's a million guys out there that are kicking your ass, you know, because they're dedicated, because they're in, the, they're, they're in it, you know, they're in it to win it. Yeah. Uh. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Have, you, know, you know what I learned from Bruce Springsteen's first manager? Because I'm from New Jersey. And his first manager, Mike Capel, very first guy uh, who actually discovered him, um, he, told, he was managing me for a while. And he told me one phrase, and I want you to l remember this phrase. Okay. You got to have the fire of desire. You got to have the fire of desire. That's have it. The fire of desire. Remember the fire of desire. Fire you of the gotta, you gotta want it, man. You I'm gonna write I'm gonna, write I'm gonna write down. Put it put it over your bed, you know. Look at it every day and remind yourself. Uh, you fire uh, of desire. Fire desire. I love it. I never Joe. forgot it. Dude, I never forgot it. I'm still saying it's gotta be 40, 50 years ago. And because he's right, that's what you need to be to be above the rest, fire of desire. I love it, man, and and Keep Belly of the Beast, burning. and I love the and I love Belly of the Beast, and and I love like you said the how your friend came in and did the artwork, and I'm looking at the artwork right now and everything, and, and you have such a style, man. When you come in here, like I love, I love how all in you are in your dream, like like you're. That's why I love just like watching everything you do because I feel like you can tell when somebody's all in, you can tell when somebody's not all in, and and, oh, yeah. and, and, and you know and. And you, I could tell you just really love it, man. Like, have you always yeah. been? A, have you always been a real stylistic guy? You yeah, been? yeah, yeah. I'm passionate. I'm a passionate guy. You know, uh, my culture, everything, passionate. And and uh, sometimes it can get you in trouble because the world is so offended about everything <laughs> nowadays. But I don't really care, you know, because I'm going to be passionate about what I love. And I love music, and I love messaging, and I love truth and freedom, and I love rock and roll. And I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> I love it, Joe. <clears throat> I love it, Joe. Okay. Um, for for uh, but, uh, so I'm going to ask you one final question about the beast, and then I'm going to ask you three fun, quick questions before we end the interview, just to spice okay. things up a little bit, if that's okay with you. Okay with me. Okay, so, but Joe, um, for people that may not uh, know you, and people listening in Ashland, Oregon, and in Oregon, and on the Pacific Northwest. Um, for Belly of the Beast, what song would you recommend them for first time listener? Wow, you know it's it's difficult because it all depends. Uh, this is a modern metal melodic record, and uh, yeah, it's but there's badass. Still, there's still there's still some shades of the old Joel and Turner, and then there's the shades of the new Joel and Turner, and there's and he's still one guy. You know what I mean? It, so it's really difficult. It's like saying, "What's what's your favorite? Who's true. your favorite child?" True. I love like, I would tell, I like I would, that. I would tell him. I would tell him to listen. I would mean, I don't know, man. Desire is a great track. They're all great tracks. You you tell me. You know, oh yeah. You tell me, dude. You, uh, you li 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 question. listen to the listen to the whole album front to back. It comes out October twenty eighth. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but and, definitely. And, uh, it, it, I would say it go also comes. I want to go say ahead. it comes out with a video too for the song "Tortured Soul." 
that's a good song to listen to too. It's an epic tortured soul. Oh yeah. Really no, deep, really deep. So oh yeah. No. And especially like, like he said for honestly, any sort of metal fans, like in my opinion, I would recommend this too. If you love, if you love shredding guitars, you'll love this. If you love yep. great structures, uh, great buildups, great, uh, Courses, lyrics, like quality, yep. just constructed music, and you love melodic metal. You, this is your jam. You will yeah. love Joe Lynn Turner's, uh, Joe Lynn Turner's Belly of the Beast coming out October eighth. Be a nuclear blast, dude. But Thank I hate you, you, bro. But check this out, brother. Uh, now, okay. Well, I'm Thank gonna you. hit you. I'm gonna hit you with three random questions because I want to spice this up, man. You know, yep, let's do it. We, we, we can't. Do, all, right. all right, all right, all right. Um, do you like horror movies? Yeah. Love okay. Them. Okay. If you could choose your death, but it had to be by a murderer in a horror movie, who would you choose to kill you, and how would he do it? Oh, okay. How would he do it? Who would I choose? Um, I think uh, there's two two that come to mind that I would American Psycho, and uh, <laughs> which is really, in my opinion, that's a great movie, man. Oh uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's so so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of, of course, you know you've got you've got your uh, Nosferatu, you know, which, which oh. is like the classic. Oh the yeah, classic. You that know? is classic. Like and how would he do it? I think with a knife. Yeah, yeah, that's more personal. <laughs> the knife is more personal. It's more it's more intimate. All right. You know? When you when you use a knife, I love knives. By the way, I got a great one right here. This oh, one, this baby. Oh yeah, let's Skull see it. And, Oh, uh, uh, that's sad. That's badass. Hell yeah, I can see it. It's fucking badass, man. That that is badass. <laughs> All right, Joe. In a zombie apocalypse, if you could have one weapon to destroy the zombie horde, what's your one weapon? Flamethrower. Flamethrower? Oh, that's I just thought that's there. what you need. <laughs> <laughs> burn them up. Because you know, you beat them and shoot them, but that won't work. You gotta burn them up. <laughs> all right um all right the, the, uh this is for uh maybe a lot of the uh guitarists out there since you did uh play music uh -huh. with um mr momstein how would you explain yes. him in one word i think brilliant brilliant oh yeah, he's brilliant cool. Look, I he's love really brilliant he really is he's an amazing guitar player i I, I, and then, <laughs> I mean really that's that's the first word that comes to my mind there's a lot of other words <laughs> I could use, but he's a brilliant guitar player, man. He really I, is, and he he changed guitar in many ways for a lot of people with the shredding and the arpeggios and everything else. And uh, he deserves a lot of credit for that, you know. And that, that's really all. I, I, you know, I I, I, I like Inge. You know, he's difficult, but he's he's Inge. well. Well, most brilliant guys. I mean, I, th I think I think everybody everybody's passionate. Everybody's kind of difficult, you know. But I, you know, I, 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 I kind of heard a quote yesterday that's saying, like, the people who know how to disagree and agree with somebody else disagreeing, like, they move higher in life, you know, instead of somebody always agreeing to everything. You, you have to agree to disagree. Yeah, you have to agree that's, to disagree. Yeah. Right. And that's fine. That's OK. <laughs> Everybody has their own opinion. Yeah. Like we agree. Me and anybody, we agreed and we disagreed on a lot of stuff, but we made a great album. You know, yeah, a little of me, a little of him. We put it all together. It was, like fuck, it was, it was neat. <laughs> yeah, it was neat. Yeah, I loved it. Good album. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. Um, is there is there a a vocal an up and coming vocalist that you really admire that you're that yeah. maybe you pay attention to right now that that you want to maybe say yep. a nice word about and recommend? I really do. Dino Jalusic. I think Dino's just great. Yeah, uh, Dino. He's a friend of mine and. Uh, I talk to him every now and again, but I think he's probably one of the the up and coming, really great vocalists uh, that deserves more than he's getting right now. And uh, he's he, he was uh, doing the White Snake thing for a while, and um, you know he's been in different projects and all. But there's some contractual problems that are holding him back. But Dino Chalusic is uh, is is my candidate for like young, upcoming, really great voice. He's got emotion, he's got range, he's got style, and he can sing a lot of different styles. So, you know. I love it. I love it. And for my final question, um, is there somebody 
like you toured with or played with that you thought was really cool. And like when you finally met them, you were just like, it was a breath of fresh air that they were actually nice. Was there somebody oh, yeah. like that you ran into? Like the music, like a story like that? Yeah. Yeah. There was, there was a couple like that and a couple the other way too. Um, <laughs> but, but I'd have to say Rod Stewart, for example. And it wasn't oh, really Rod cool. Stewart. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what, but even more importantly, I think it was Bowie. Bowie? He was just the greatest. We had a great time wow. together. We hung out in L.A. for about a week and we went because uh, he was into magic and different things. And so was I. And we met at a party and uh, over a couple of girls. <laughs> and It was funny. But um, but we, we started talking and we said, hey, you know, we got a lot in common here. Let's go here tomorrow night or something. And that's how it started. And I, what, a, what a fantastic guy, an amazing artist and, and a great thinker. You know, he was very intelligent, very nice guy. Down to earth. He, no, he's a he's an absolute legend, and yeah, and and, and 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 Joe, you're you're a genius. I love your music. Everybody, Belly of the Beast, Thank October twenty eighth. Uh, the Fire Desire. I love that. I'm gonna be thinking about the story of your dad with the hammer and all that too, man. And yep. I appreciate all your lessons. And I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the video again for the you know the triangle and you know with the chest boy, you know you know putting all That's i just right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna rewatch this whole interview after remember after we get singing, it singing singing is in the mind this is important sing is in your mind you you hear the note you see the note before you sing it the high notes and everything you just see it before you do it try it just try it alone in your bedroom whatever you know and and try the diaphragm let the air out of your lungs fill up your diaphragm Learn to do that. So it becomes like a basketball here. When okay. you see singers, like opera singers, they always got this big chest, right? That's why. Because all the air is in the diaphragm, not the lungs. The lungs, you don't need air from your lungs. You need support. And you hold that air in your diaphragm. And when you, it's a push down, pull up. Mm. It's like a rubber band, okay? Take a rubber band. You push down, you pull up. That's what your vocal cord, that's what you do. You're pushing down to support on your diaphragm you're pushing down and you're shooting up with the okay. note just give it a shot <clears throat> try that no i i definitely will man and i, I okay. thank you thank you so much man for this uh video i i appreciate it, man and and honestly you're such a breath of fresh air man because like you know like even even for like me doing radio and all this and that it's like you know everybody goes through so many struggles in life and, and, yeah. and, you know, uh, when I, you know, I don't get paid, I don't, I don't ever ask for money from artists, uh, whether you have a hundred yeah. likes or a million likes, this is all about supporting music. And, you know, and people ask me like why I do it, why I spend time and it's, and it's for, re and it, the reason why is because I get to talk to people like you who get us and lift me up and inspire me to push forward another step, you Thank know? You. And so, That's so I, so Joe, I appreciate you so much because, it means a lot because I I don't like being this fabricated interview or on this show. I don't like fabrications. I don't like just standardized bullshit. Like I, it's it means a lot that I get to learn from somebody like you who's who's been through it all and worked hard and and had to learn these things, man. So I appreciate you for being well, on the little bit. You got an impressive philosophy, and I like you a lot. I really do <laughs> because you you sound just like I did when I was trying to come up there. So all you do is that fire and desire, get some lessons, somebody that teaches you that technique, and just work hard. Remember, it's 99% perspiration, 1% inspiration. Oh, work thank hard. you so much. All right. I'm, 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 I, okay. need this last I need this last favor. Can you say this is Joe Lynn Turner, and you're listening to the Metal Mixtape? Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Joe Lynn Turner, and you're listening to the Metal Mixtape. Keep it locked and keep it rock. Joe, thank you so much, brother. Uh, I'm a construction worker. I'm going to go back to work and frame. <laughs> hey, you know what? I used to work. I used to work masonry with my uncle. So you kidding? Carrying <laughs> cement bags, trolling, you know, all kinds of things, lifting lumber, hammer nails, you name it. And then, and then one day, it just happened. So I wish you all the luck and love in the world. Really. You too, Joe, and you you have a wonderful weekend, my friend. You're, you're amazing. Thank, thank you, man. You. And thank you for kicking that music up for me. I appreciate it. Oh, Get out there. Belly of the Beast, October 28th. Talk to you later, brother. You got it. All right, bro. Later. Bye. Blessings.